Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Maddie Vlogs and Does. I have um, the reading for you guys. Well, this is going to be the new moon reading um, for everybody. I, yes, I'm not answering much as you guys can see. Let me give this um, these cards some heat. Please ignore the noise in the background. Um, I'm not quite sure how my, my microphone is going to help me out with the noise in the background. They are doing construction, of course, in front of my house. Um... Well, in front of the, the place where I rent, and it's just absurd. Anyway, I hope everyone has had a fantastic month so far of April. So the new moon is starting off at the end of April. Today is April 30th. Um, and that you guys have been manifesting the things that you have been wanting to manifest. I wanted to point out a little something. We have um, basically one month until the, the, the end of the first half of the year is over. So sometimes what I like to do is recap what I have accomplished. And it's like that one time of the year where you kind of like look back. Some people like to do this quarterly. So every three months, um, I do it once every six months because my end of the year is in October. So technically, um, my half of the year is basically done so i'm looking at my stuff now i'm looking back at the things that i have accomplished um i organized a lot of my papers um yesterday which show what i have accomplished what i need to work on etc cetera, etc cetera. um and i just want to share with you guys what i have to work on is being a little bit more disciplined when i tell myself this is what has to happen this is what's going to happen this takes a long time you guys to rewire people's brains takes a very long time so I just want to remind you guys that perfection is found within your own imperfections and however you do things, however you organize your life, however you manifest your world is how you manifest your world and how things are going to manifest for you um, because this is your journey. All right. So I'm going to pull out some cards. Let's see um, what messages we have for this new moon. So we have judgment, you guys. So a lot of people um, in this deck, you see the cards are laying down. So people are going to um, bow down to the things that you would like for them to bow down to. Um, and I don't think you're doing certain rituals or we're doing certain rituals or we're doing certain things or we're clapping back in some way, shape or form where we're trying to force people to bow down. But it's just, you know... It depends on who's working on what and what type of karma you're trying to acquire. And, and, and when people are coming for you and, and it's unjust and the universe um, takes his judgment and someone else is being, is being you know, uh, malicious towards you or they're trying to get in your way, this would be the time where the universe is like, uh, not today, cookie, not today is what I see. So a lot of people are going to, you know, step down, bow down more than what they're getting up or rejuvenating themselves. Then I have the queen of coins. So are we paying attention to what is a priority to us? Are we paying attention to what's moving forward in the future? Or are we paying attention to what has happened already in the past or, or um, what transpired in the past? Um, I see here we have the 10 of, of wands. And I don't really like to read this way because I feel like a lot of you guys that watch these um, YouTube uh, videos um, in regards to cardomancy and spirituality, you guys know a little bit of what the cards mean. But um, the Ten of Wands here um, is showing me the amount of baggage <clears throat> that I feel like you guys are focused on or what, that we're focused on when it comes to our life and, and the things that we have to prioritize. So the theme basically that I'm seeing here is priority, priority, priority. What are we prioritizing? So that we're able to get rid of the baggage that we have in front of us and we can wait along for the results. And sometimes the results of the things that we have accomplished or the things that we have put in place um are sometimes not always that great uh some people i feel like during this new moon are going to realize that 
Manifestation is a double-edged sword. And with that being said, is that when you manifest something for yourself, it's like when, when Spanish people say, no, no hay mal que por bien no venga, right? So sometimes there's no bad or evil that comes your way that isn't coming your way for good things. And I feel like in our spiritual community, we tend to be a little too fluffy sometimes where people are judgy. Um, people don't like to talk about the other side of spirituality, or what is considered the other side of spirituality. And that sometimes chaos, okay, can create the most beautiful of results, the most beautiful aspects of who we are, okay? So bring on the chaos, welcome the chaos in your life, welcome the the tragedies, the hurts, the pains, the heartaches. Um, there are certain things that, that scar us for life and no matter how beautiful we we tend to see the world and how gracious we're handling things. Those scars are right underneath our clothes. They're in our hearts. Our hearts are a little bit heavy. I don't see too much, um, oh, healing, you know, anything like that. No, I feel like we're, what we're manifesting is reality now. Not, not, I mean, what we're manifesting is actuality, not the reality of what we're living. There's a difference, okay? We don't like to see, you know, what's considered to be the ugly or the tower is always considered to be a card where it's like, oh my gosh, the tower, oh my gosh, something terrible is happening. It's not. It's not, okay? Whatever experiences you guys have had or will have, nothing terrible is happening, okay? And this goes for me as well. These messages are for me. I'm not above the law. I'm not above karma. I'm not above any of that. This also belongs to me. I also feel like heart-to-heart -heart conversations about responsibilities uh, within your tribe, within your group, within your people have to happen or at least should happen during this time because a lot of karma is happening. So sometimes we can transmute certain things by having simple conversations and not allowing um, certain agendas to be fulfilled. It's how we back each other up. So heart-to-heart -heart conversations are important. Uh, I also feel like a lot of flirtatiousness uh, is going on. For those of you that are both single and in relationships, doesn't matter. A lot of flirtatiousness. However, when we flirt with people, we, we too are not above the law. So whatever we're expecting, we're expecting like this perfect person with no issues, um, cookie cutter, ain't nobody arguing, nobody's doing this and that anymore. Mm. We have the king of swords. The king of so the king of swords is an individual, whether it's a man or a female, is coming here as a fem as a male. The king of swords is an individual that um, sometimes can be portrayed as lazy, um, is very attached to certain things, can ha like pick up on certain habits like alcohol or like abuse of of certain habits or substances. However, when this king of swords gets to talking, nobody shuts him down at all. Very assertive, knows what he wants. Um, very family oriented. So if you're looking for somebody that's going to defend you, that has a mouth on them and you're expecting for them not to tell you about yourself, you have something else coming for you. Okay. For those of you that are trying to manifest that, um, I also feel like, um, with the energy of the 10 of, of wands, we have to get up from our high horses and realize that if we are delegating things to people, whether you are a supervisor or not, or you're just delegating people around your life and in your atmosphere, you have to do what's balanced and, and fair. Um, I know most of the time life isn't, doesn't seem to be fair, but if you're delegating work to people, also take that some load off of other people um, or off of the group that you are around or the tribe that you are around. Is, is what I see. These are the scenarios, you all. But karma is coming, y'all. Karma's coming. Judgment, king of swords, and the tower together. Sometimes that's me realize like mm, certain things from the past I feel like are coming that you either have dealt with or will deal with, with and then you won't ever have to deal with them again. Like ever, ever, ever. Um, if you take up for yourself and you delegate for yourself is what I see. And this again goes for me as well. And then I have here, 
distraction so number two um and this gives me very much like two of swords type of energy so we have to it, it's a balance okay again it goes to the discipline it goes to the giving advice to people delegating things to people um bringing balance into play and not wanting to do everything all at the same time also for those of us that um are telepathic that we listen and hear and and are around our spirit guides and our entities and our energies etc etc we have to learn to listen um with a pinch of salt we have to learn to balance ourselves out because when our bodies and our psyche our psychic abilities or our um, mental state of being is not well balanced what happens is that our spirits can also be crossed amongst one another the energy is crossed in this line of spirituality for those of you that want to cross over it, it's constant work you have to constantly work on energies that are coming your way because essentially you are in control there is no god there is no spirit guide there is no nobody you are the driver of the seat and you have company in all seats of your vehicle whether you have a five seater four seater two seater um eight seater seven seater vehicle it's you okay doing what you have to do for yourself in on this side of town um, I know some people watch these videos secretly and they secretly want to be part of this world. You should be prepared to let go of the old and with that comes responsibility and replace the old with the new. And that too carries responsibility. That too carries weight. But if you're not balanced, everything's going to become a guava. Everything's going to be all over the place, which is not something that anybody likes. At least I don't. I don't like to have things disorganized or thrown in my face constantly um with this energy of the ten of wands mm -mm. mercury's <laughs> mercury's finna snatch wigs okay so look at things exactly how they are look at people exactly how they are accept people for who they are i see that as well and listen to your intuition before listening to any outside chatter gossip etc because things will be balanced. And the last thing you want to do is be in between the, the scales of justice. Slashing people's heads off because she's looking to be balanced. Okay? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this makes sense. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, do not forget to water your life. And yes, I am taking orders. You guys can always um, find my information within the description box. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.